click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game. Yo, yo, what's poppin'? What's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy, the dating game was good. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about 10 movies that you must see that will teach you about the game. All right. So I love watching movies. And when I watch these movies, I, I look at certain movies and, and sometimes I'm like, man, this has a lot of game in it. You understand? This is something that guys can understand that's going to help them out with women, help them out with life. So this is a list of 10 movies that I think that you should definitely see. All right, so let's start this out at number 10. We have Let Him Go starring Kevin Costner and Diane Lane. So I actually saw this movie a few days ago and um, I'm not gonna go through the storyline of each of these movies. I'm just gonna tell you with each of these movies what you can learn as far as it comes to, you know, when it comes to game. Now, in this movie, what you can learn when it comes to game is about why it's important to make sure that you're not following your woman, right? Now, what happened in this movie, without giving too much away, is that, you know, Diane Lane, which is Kevin Costner's uh, wife, you know, in the movie, I forgot the character's names or whatever, but... You know, she went off to go do something and he's like, yo, and I'm trying not to give spoilers, but he's like, listen, I don't think you should go off and do this thing. And she's like, no, I'm going to go do this anyway. And he's like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to just come with you to do this thing you're trying to do right now. To his credit, you know, he was trying to tell her not to go do the thing, but she went off anyway. And a lot of times what happens is that women will, you know, not listen so this is important that your woman listen to you right and you know this is why i always tell guys you got to make sure your woman's listening to you but she didn't listen to him so she goes off and of course to make sure that you know she's protected he goes with her you know but what happened is is a whole bunch of crazy stuff starts going down because you know they went into this situation and without giving too much away some fucked up shit happens to him because he's in this situation with his wife after he followed her to do this thing that he didn't want her to do in the first place. So I tell you guys, it's very important that when you are dealing with women, that you make sure that if you're going to get involved with a woman seriously, she has to listen to you. She has to uh, be able to be the type of chick who's going to follow directions who's going to be cooperative who's going to be submissive right because at the end of the day if she's not then she can do certain things that may make you end up being in situations you don't want to be in but it's a very good movie i, I suggest you guys uh watch it it's called let him go starring kevin costner and dan lane and that's what i have for number 10 now the s number nine movie i have on this list is Ex Machina, Ex Machina starring Oscar Isaac and uh, Domhnall Gleeson, right? Now, basically, the lesson you can learn in this movie is to make sure you don't simp, okay? Make sure you do not simp. Now, without giving too much away, basically, simping uh, you know, the guy who simped in this movie, it almost cost him his life. Or I think it probably did cost him his life. I don't want to give too much away, but, you know, I, I got to, you know, talk about that to make the point of saying that, you know, this dude, he ended up simping. And the funny part is he was simping for a chick that wasn't even really a chick because in the movie, the chick is like a, a freaking machine or some shit. You understand what I'm saying? But this dude was simping and the simping cost him, you know basically his life you understand what i'm saying I'm sorry if i if i uh you know gave it away but it's still a good movie it's not really giving it away but you'll see how it unfolds when you look at it but yeah this movie teaches you don't simp you understand because when i was watching it that was the first thing I, I thought about as the movie was coming to an end i was like this simp ass motherfucker this is do you, you see this is why you shouldn't be simping so that's number nine 
Now, number eight. Number eight is a movie called Sylvie's Love, starring, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get this guy's name wrong, uh, Namadi uh, Asomgua and Tessa Thompson. I know I butchered this dude's name. I'm sure I did. But it's called Sylvie's Love. And I actually saw this the other day. I was chilling with April and I was like, she was like, oh, I want to see this. And I was like, this looks kind of cheesy. But then we watched it and I was pleasantly surprised. And this movie, man, this movie got a lot of game in it. Because one of the main things that you, you take away when you watch this movie is it shows you how women treat men differently meaning a woman is going to treat one guy this way and uh, that same woman is going to treat another guy a whole different way you understand what i'm saying and so um the main character uh you know tessa thompson her character you know she basically you know I, it's gonna be a little bit spoilers but she basically in the movie she has a fiance and she cheats on her fiance with the with this other dude with the other main character dude and i don't want to give too much away but a lot of shenanigans happen and basically what you see is the difference between um you know how she treated her fiance or whatever and how she treated the guy she cheated on him with right and you see two different ways that she treated the guy now I'll, I'll i'll say this to um it's a little bit of a spoiler but not really so in the movie she was working at like a tv station or something right and so her fiance or the guy i guess at this point they were married or whatever he tells her hey i want you to like kind of quit this job and just be basically a housewife because he's like look i got i came into a bunch of money so you ain't got to work there no more so then she's like Oh, but I love my job and I don't want to quit and blah, 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 blah. Right. Next, thing you know, long story short, she ends up divorcing this guy, or whatever. And she gets with the guy she cheated on him with. So now her and the guy she cheated on him with are now living together. So then the, that guy says, hey, I want you to, you know, quit your job and move with me to Detroit or some shit. And this chick said yes at the drop of a hat. She ain't even question them ain't even think about it so i'm like wait a second in one in one instance your ex-husband you was fighting him tooth and nail to quit your job and then but this guy you quit your job with no questions asked you understand what i'm saying and see and there's a there's a lot of more of you know things going on in this movie but i was just like man like this is what i've been trying to tell guys is that women will basically treat one guy one way and treat the other guy another way you understand what i'm saying so definitely a good movie you guys should check that out now the seventh movie i got on the list is swingers starring uh john uh damn why am i saying this guy's name john forever for, uh favaro did i say it right john favaro and vince vaughn i think i probably still said it wrong i gotta correct me in the, in the goddamn comments or something but anyway this this movie came out a while ago and basically you know what you can learn from this movie is a lot about confidence you understand uh you know a lot about like getting over a chick you understand what i'm saying so you know there's a lot of like scenes in there where they talk about different things that you know is really filled with some game you feel what i'm saying so number seven i got is swingers now number six is don john number six is don john starring joseph gordon levitt and scarlett johansson right now what's great about don john when it comes to game is that it shows you that just because a girl looks good doesn't mean she is the type of chick you need to be with you understand doesn't mean she's all that because in the movie you know uh joseph Ward Le joseph gordon levitt's character was trying to get with scarlett johansson because she was like you know the bad chick she was she was hot you understand and he was like fiending to be with her but it was like the relationship was kind of whack you understand because she was kind of controlling she was just kind of you know on some on some bs you understand and also in that movie it talks a lot about like you know jerking off and all, a bunch of other stuff that you know it, it, it teaches you some good stuff you understand what i'm saying but one of the one of the takeaways that i took from it was the whole thing of look man you know she 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 looked good 
but she ain't really right for you. She, you know what I'm saying? She's not really the type of chick you need to be with because she on some BS. You understand? But that's a, a really good movie. Make sure you guys check out Don John. Now, number five, the fifth uh, movie we have here is Roger Dodger starring Jesse Eisenberg and Campbell Scott. Now, this movie this movie is for all you choosing signal ass niggas you understand what i'm saying because in this movie man i mean this dude's approaching he's because he, okay so the movie's about you know this guy and he takes i think uh campbell scott's character takes jesse eisenberg and i think jesse eisenberg is supposed to be his nephew or something like that if i'm not mistaken i seen this movie years ago i think he came out like 2002 or some shit um but you know he this dude uh campbell scott his character is like you know he's a dude who really goes out there and approaches women i mean the cold approach game is heavy you know the mouthpiece is heavy and so he you know he goes out there and he's like trying to teach his nephew how to pick up chicks you feel what i'm saying so there's a lot of game in there that you know talk, teaches you about you know cold approaching approaching these chicks uh, having that mouthpiece all that other all that other stuff this is like a really really good movie that displays this and showcases this so make sure you guys check out roger dodger all right uh number four number four on the list is vicky christina barcelona starring uh javier bardem scarlett johansson and penelope cruz man so this movie right here man this movie is about uh, two friends, Vicky and Christina, and they go to Barcelona and they meet this guy who's played by uh, Javier Bardem. And this motherfucker is bold as hell. You understand what I'm saying? This this movie, when it comes to game, it teaches you about, again, approaching women, um, being bold, having that mouthpiece, having that confidence, because he basically tells these gir these two girls like, listen, I like both of y'all. He, he approaches both of them like, yeah, I want, I want y'all both. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, we should get together, hang out, travel and, and have sex basically is what he's telling these women. You understand what I'm saying? And one of the chicks, she's down. The other one is kind of like, you know, one of those like kind of prude type of chicks. You understand what I'm saying? But then f the funny part is, is that the prude chick comes around later and ends up fucking with him too. So, you know, it, I mean, <laughs> this movie this shows right here how important confidence is how important mouthpiece is how important it is to be bold you feel what i'm saying so that is uh vicky christina barcelona now number three the third movie i have on this list this one is um you know probably one of the most important movies that i've ever seen and this one this one isn't even necessarily about women you understand this is more about just like life and spirituality but this one is called peaceful warrior uh starring scott um mecklowitz and nick nolte now this movie right here is about a guy who is like a he does like gymnastics or something like that and you know he's living the fast life he's messing with a bunch of girls he's you know everything he's like a cool guy he you know what i'm saying he's popular i guess or whatever and then he gets into like an accident and he can't do his um you know his gymnastic stuff anymore he's kind of depressed because he can't you know he's like oh, i lost all the, the the cool shit that life was about and the movie is is a very you know spiritual movie man it's about like living in the now you know not being all in your head it's about happiness you know it's a really really good movie you understand what i'm saying and you know it it, it teaches you about you know understanding you know just living in that moment and what's important in life you understand it, it it's it teaches you not to sweat all the bullshit you know you understand so i think you guys definitely need to watch peaceful warrior now number two we're up to number two the number two movie that you guys should watch is how to have sex with two women a day which is my movie <laughs> you feel what i'm saying so this is a short film i did based off my book um and we shot this damn in like what it was years ago we did this movie um probably what 2012 2013 i don't know something like that and it's a short film about 45 minutes 
uh it's a comedy you know it's it's you know it's a fun time but it's is a lot of game in there we, we we have scenes where the guy's cold approaching we got scenes where we're talking about game it's just a lot of stuff in there where you can learn some game now the number one movie that i have on this list that will teach you about game is game kings god damn it listen guys come on if you do not have game kings you're slipping I mean, do I even need to explain how fucking dope Game Kings is? I mean, it's the first ever documentary on the game. Okay? On the game. So, guys, make sure you go to MissLocario.com or Bad Boy Membership to get your copy. All right? All right. So, guys, let me know what your favorite movies are that have game in it. Leave comments below let me know which movies uh you think i should check out also let me know which movies you think other people in the comment section or people who are watching who are watching this should check out all right so that's pretty much it i'm out of here remember guys the truth is inside you peace i'm gone what's going on it's your boy miles cunningham and what i want to talk about today is the bad boy membership contest all you have to do to be eligible to win the bad boy membership contest is to be a bad boy member See, what we realize is that when guys join the bad boy membership, they make the transition from simp to player very quickly. And we're just trying to make that transition just a little bit easier. So here's what you get if you win the bad boy membership contest. So here's what you receive if you win the bad boy membership contest. A bottle of bad boy cologne by Carolina Herrera, New York. A luxury designer timepiece and a $100 gift card. To increase your chances of winning, share this post in your story, tag three friends, and subscribe to Mr. Lucario or the Miles Cunningham YouTube channel. The link is in the bio. And follow Real Mr. Lucario and Miles in the Game on Instagram. The winner will be announced at the first of the month. Good luck. Click the link below and get your bad boy gear. Get the t-shirts, submissive women are sexy, binary as fuck, and I'm God to these hoes. Click the link below to get your bad boy gear today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected, Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women wanna be with, women wanna date, women wanna have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.